My name is Fred Myers, and I'm honored to be president of APAS. APAS is the Association of Presidential Awardees in Science Teaching, and the year is 2015, and we are putting together a series of uh, videos that we hope improve science education. Today's video will only take a few minutes. It'll be a demonstration of Newton's first law of motion. Of course, you probably learned in class that Newton's first law of motion says that an object at rest tends to stay at rest, and an object in motion tends to stay in motion. In other words, things that have mass like to continue to do what they're doing. That's inertia. So uh, the title of my demonstration today is Chalk, Bottle, and Hoop. And here I have an ordinary piece of chalk. Here I have a glass bottle with a kind of a narrow neck. And here I have a wooden hoop. It's an embroidery hoop. And what I'm going to do is place the hoop onto the bottle so that it is balanced on top of the bottle. And then I'll take a piece of chalk and put it on top of the hoop. And hopefully it is balanced. Now what I'm going to do is remove the hoop very rapidly. And if I remove the hoop by taking it that way, then the chalk will fall into the bottle. Oh, because a body at rest tends to stay at rest. And so when it's at rest and the hoop is pulled out, the chalk will simply fall straight down because of the force of gravity. Shall we give it a try? Three, two, one, go! Right into the bottom. Now I'm going to pause the video for a minute uh, so that I can take a close-up view. Uh, I'll repeat the same demonstration just with a close-up view. Okay, here we are again. This time we have a closer view so that you'll be able to see the chalk and the hoop and the bottle. And you'll notice that what I do is I grab the hoop from this side as my hand's moving that way. And the reason for that is that the hoop then stretches. The wood is a little flexible and it stretches that way and the wood on top then pulls down away from the chalk and then the chalk is free to fall. If I were to hit the hoop from this side, then this, uh, this dimension would expand and the chalk, chalk would be thrown into the air. So let's do it again. Three, two, one, go. Right into the bottle. All right, now I'll pause the video again and I'll set it up again so that <coughs> I will try the other option of hitting it from the other side. All right, so I've reset the chalk bottle and hoop and now instead of uh, demonstrating Newton's first law explicitly, what I'm going to do is take my hand and move it this way so that it tries to shrink this diameter of the wood once I grab it and if it shrinks that diameter of the wood, this diameter should increase and you may want to hit pause on your video right now to make a prediction about what's going to happen to the chalk. Okay, I'm assuming you're back with us now and what I will do is bring my hand in from the side <coughs> and shrink this dimension, increase this dimension and I bet what it does is throws the chalk into the air and pushes the bottom of the chalk this way and I'll bet the chalk spirals. Three, two, one, go! Thank you for watching this video.